Okay, this is a ground unit floor I'm working on right now. I'm just gonna kind of take some some of this um, hardwood off, gonna move the appliances over just so I got the room. But basically, all this is gonna be just garbage. Wow, lots of silverfish. You can see them flying, running away. And silverfish. Okay, so the hardwood. Oh, still fish everywhere, wow. Some windows here, get some air in this place. It's infested here, man. Hmm. Maybe it's like water damage or something. Probably like water damage or something. Surprising people they don't want to move out even though it's a dump. Or people don't want to move out. That's a problem with these places. Because it's so close to the beach. How do you get a place? I'm gonna move this over. Well, you can hear the, the little transformer in there going like crazy. Not a transformer, a mortar. Well, I had a tip, tip sideways, it was making the bearing noises. Okay. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. 
Cabinets here pretty tough. Feel them strong, huh? Like you lead. Take off most of his trims. particle board if you know what I mean huh oh. oh, don't back no back in there Silver. Silver plated for sure, but I'll check that out after. Little cup. Amazing how much demo just a couple of cabinets just get a whole whole mess on the floor. Can you undo the water quickly? Trick is uh, if this has been sitting in for a long time, 
advisable let the water flush through the drain so it, in case it's still water and it's not gonna get a lot of stink coming out. And like I say, this is the more plastic pipes. Lost one of my wrenches somewhere in this building here. Just so much crap, you know, you, you do so much work and then you put out something on a ledge and then I forget. And you get like 15 units. I don't know which one it is, so hopefully the guys find it. It's just the angle maybe or something. Twisted or something. On ground level so I don't care about water too much. So you can see you have to hold hold the pipe there. So we won't rip it off. It's all plastic. Easy. Well, same routine as you want to take the supports off. Use the strengthening supports. Any kind of a trim like this could, could, up, could hold you up pretty easy.
That's it. This won't take too long. So if you venture on doing it yourself, you saw the tricks of the trade, right? A little bit of this, a little bit of that. That's it. Okay. They took an old shelf out. Uh, the old phone line is right here. I don't think it's being used because it's behind a shelf and the shelf looks like it's been there for 40, 50 years, so. Different, huh? That's all where the, I guess all the units were plugged into these things here. Hmm, I'll have to find out about that. That's kind of cool, actually. A little bit of history there. It's probably from 19, well, when the phones could have came in there, what, how, I don't know how early this is automated, probably. Just awesome, actually. Hmm. Okay, I just want to share that with you guys. It's kind of something cool. There's so many connection points. I guess they had five wires, so 20 units times five, so this should be about 100, I don't think. There's probably more than 100 here. Say 25, that's, a, that's 100 right here. Four times 25 is 100. Hmm. Anyways, okay, so I got most of this, we're leaving the washroom original, just because the site office suite is, their washroom's broken, so they're going to use this, and then I'm going to get this packed out here shortly. I'm going to go to the next room, strip a little bit. But like I say, it goes pretty quick, it's, you know, I've done this stuff for years, so, straightforward to me. Not much here anyways, just pop the door off, a little bit of floor trim and tape closet, maybe a couple things here and there, that's it. I don't want to, I might pop this floor up maybe too and just stack it a bit. So when the laborers finished upstairs, they'll come down here and pack this out. Okay. Okay, I got this, the, this mug here. Um, we figure it's silver, it's cleaning up really nice. And there's a marking of 825, but it's over a 925. Double stamped. They double stamped it for some reason. Maybe there was an issue with the grade or the quality. It may have been coin silver. Yeah, and exactly. It's, and it may be the, it's not really a hallmark, but there is a mark there. Maybe the British. PT. Okay, here it is. It says PT. PT, the British. That's a crown too. Is it? Yeah. It's, it's a shield. It's a sh well, could also be like a cheap crown. Show it in the sunlight there. But anyways, we think it is so Shine up really nice. It shines like a baby there. Look at that beautiful treasure. First treasure of the job. Awesome. Awesome. Wow, it stinks like silver. Okay. See? Okay, another tub here. We're going to try to bring it apart.
Oh, just so heavy. A piece like that's heavy. Four piece now. Oh, it was really tough to get that bad tub out. So I'm winded already for the bad tub, and now I gotta smash it. I try to take three in my van today, and then whatever sink, I'm one sink, and whatever sinks I have at home. Hopefully, it's not gonna be too heavy, but I'm figuring 1500 pounds probably. Okay. Let's show you here. Disaster zone. Yeah. It's drift broken. Tough, huh? There it is. It's about maybe a quarter of a tub right now. They're probably 500 pounds total. Four to 500 pounds, I would say for sure. We're two guys, we can't even lift it. Even just to drag it, three guys are struggling. These are really heavy duty. Cast iron. Yeah, see if it fits in the back. No, I mean not like sorry on the side. You just kind of turn it like like a puzzle, yeah. and then turn it that way. This way, this way, like this. This way, like the U that way. The U that. Tip it, and then right there. Oh yeah. Okay. Like a puzzle, so we get less. I want to put all three in here. Fit them all tight. Yeah, perfect. Fit them all tight in here. Okay. Let me handle this one. Let's watch her those glass slivers. Okay. I tries. Grab it? Nope. Okay. Okay, well, we're getting in some progress here. I get three tubs. 
and then if I get uh, the seven six I have, should be, should be a decent load. I figure about fifteen hundred pounds, maybe. We'll see. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna smash it apart. Yeah, stupid ladder fell on my foot here, so I not ladder hammer and it fell off the edge here. But anyways. <laughs> Can I get a one of your plugs in standby? I forgot to press play. Can you see? Smash it now. You forgot to press play. I forgot now. It's on right. Red light's on. Okay. Hi, you too? Okay, watch out, buddy. Most of the weight is this part here. Okay, you watch your eyes, I'm gonna put a bag over this. Five thirty. Come on. Maybe six, even who knows. You can hear the glass break. Don't put a bag on there. You might cut your face. You can use a bed sheet, even or something. Okay. I'm gonna dolly it out now to the truck. Okay, uh, do we have to have bad tubs in here broken up? Dolly in. Not too bad. We got three bad tubs, and I got one old sink in here. And I got one stainless steel sink, little piece of brass. Okay. So tomorrow I'm going to take this to scrap here, but I'm going to add six more sinks to here. And I'll make a decent load. Hopefully not too heavy, but we'll see. Okay.